On June 4th, 2024, the Seattle Mariners signed Victor Robles, an outfielder who had just been designated for assignment by the Washington Nationals. Since joining the Seattle Mariners, Robles has made an immediate impact. Hey, how about Victor Robles? Out to left field! His first, it's a Mariner! It landed all the way to the second deck! Going back, Robles, twist, turn, reach, got it! Oh, yeah! Here's a high fly ball! Carry way out of here! Victor Robles! Bring it about! Getting back, getting back! Oh, yeah! What a catch! That gutter's been wearing all the hats. Robles getting in the box. It is off the face of the fence! The 27-year-old from Santo Domingo Este in the Dominican Republic has had a really wild journey to this spot he's at now, and I wanna go over that today. Before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. We recently reached 500 of y'all on this channel, which was really cool. It's one of my uh, first big goals for this channel, subscriber-wise, so I appreciate you. Next is the Road to 1K. I will be doing a 500 sub special live stream really soon, so once I get that all hammered out, I will post the details and it'll be there and there will be some giveaway items too you can also smash that like button as well that's much appreciated but let's just get into it victor robles was signed as a 16 year old international free agent by the washington nationals in 2013 and at the time he was already being scouted as a five tool player and had corner outfield floor with center field ceiling and in 2014 he played his first professional ball in the dominican summer league very quickly robles showed he's going to be one of the best prospects in in the game in the Dominican Summer League, he posted a slash line of 313, 408, 484, and just 182 at bats. And after that, Robles would just keep shooting up the ranks, kept making light work of minor league pitching at many different levels, and quickly he became one of the top prospects in the game. Here's the full stats for Victor Robles in the minor leagues from 2015 to 2017. In 2015, an amazing slash line between hit rookie ball and a short is what it was called so i think it's just the lowest form of single a 213 ab's an amazing slash line of 352 445 507 and as you can see 24 stolen bases at the time even though he's a five tool player his biggest one was speed in 2016 he had three different levels a full a advanced and he did go back to rookie ball a little bit for a rehab assignment um, also had a pretty good slash line for 421 ab's well above league average on all of those metrics there and once again the speed was there with 37 stolen bases in 2017 he was in high a and double a 430 ab's a 300 batting average 382 obp and 493 slug for 10 home runs who's starting to get a bit of that power now and still 27 stolen bases that same year, Victor Robles was named to participate in the 2017 Future Stars game in Miami during All-Star Weekend, where he went 0 for 1 with a sack fly RBI. And by the end of 2017, Victor Robles was the fifth ranked MLB prospect in the whole game per pipeline. And that same year, on September 7th, Victor Robles would make his MLB debut in a very limited sample size, only 24 ABs to end the 2017 season. He got six hits, one double and one triple, and drove in four runs. Runs. Robles would go to spring training the next year in 2018. However, he would be optioned to AAA to start the year, and it was a pretty rough year for Victor Robles. He ended up injuring his elbow very early on in April, which caused him to be out until July. And after his rehab assignment, he stayed in AAA through the AAA season and was yet again another September call up. And that September call up went very well for Robles. He had a 873 OPS and 59 at bats. 2019, Victor Robles became a full-time major leaguer for the Washington Nationals and would play in 155 games, slashing 255, 326, 419 for a 92 WRC+. Although he was a bit below average bat-wise, he was really known for his defense and ended up being a finalist for the Gold Glove Award in center field for the National League. He did not end up winning. Lorenzo Kane did. Oh, and he also got a ring that year. The Washington Nationals won the 2019 World Series, and at just 22 years old, 
Robles was a World Series champion, and unfortunately, after winning a ring, things went downhill pretty hard for Victor Robles. On the offensive side, he became a very below league average hitter, hovering in the 60s of WRC Plus from 2020 to 2023. And 2023 was an especially difficult year for Robles. He landed on the IL multiple times with back spasms, which ended his season short in July. And it's too bad because he was having actually a pretty good year in 2023, slashing 299, 385, 430 for a 112 WRC plus before being placed on the 60 day injured list. Unfortunately, the beginning of 2024 wasn't any better and Robles was quickly sidelined with a hamstring injury. When he did play, it was not very good, slashed 120, 281, 120 with no extra base hits and 33 plate appearances. And when outfielder Lane Thomas came off the injured list, someone needed to go. Robles was the odd man out. They ended up designating him for a assignment and then just full-on released him. Robles was a really well-liked guy in the Nationals organization. Obviously, he was drafted by them and came up through their org from his beginnings. And Dave Martinez remarked about his departure, all I could tell him is that I wish him the best and keep going. He needs to go find himself. He'll help another team somewhere. I have a lot of feelings and emotions for him. In the span of just four years, a once top-ranked prospect who won a ring had been released by the same organization that developed him. And that leads us to June 4th of this year when he was signed by the Seattle Mariners. The hope was obviously that a once highly touted prospect would be able to find his footing in the Emerald City. Well, so far, that's worked out pretty well. Since joining the club, Robles has 101 plate appearances and is slashing a remarkable 348, 414, 517 for a 170 WRC+. And when Julio Rodriguez went out with an ankle injury in July, Robles quickly became the new starting center fielder and has absolutely locked that position down in the interim. Pretty clear, Victor Robles likes being a Seattle Mariner, and he has said as much. And it's remarkable the turnaround Victor Robles has showed in just a change of scenery, especially going to the Seattle Mariners who aren't exactly known for their offensive production and development, and he has clearly found something here. One of those reasons might have been pointed out on Twitter by my guy Camden, who showed that he has eliminated his leg kick from his load up, which would make a lot of sense on why that could be helping him, especially with this timing clearly he's been hitting the ball really well now could that be the only reason why he's hitting better i don't know ultimately i think it's probably a mix of things things like mechanical changes the change of scenery and the weight lifted off your shoulders of not being this highly touted prospect in the past and keeps failing in the same organization that you know rose him up obviously some skepticism is warranted if robles is going to keep this going and obviously he has his injury issues especially recently in 2023 and 2024. But one thing I will say, and I think we can all agree on this, Victor Robles has been very exciting and fun to watch in the teal. I really hope he can keep it going, but I want to know what you think. You can comment down below. I would appreciate it very much to see what you have to think about Victor Robles and how he's been with the Seattle Mariners. Once again, you can smash that like button and subscribe. It's free and it helps me out a lot. That's going to be it for me in this one, and I will see you in the next. Thanks for watching.